So now let's take a minute to talk about the sidebar in Roam. Not the sidebar on the left, which is useful in its own right, but the sidebar you can bring up on the right. So if I were to go back to my daily notes page, and we'll actually just go into our daily notes for a minute. I have all these things and I may want to reference so-and-so's page along with this one and not have to go into his page and then back or do them in different tabs. What you can do is you can shift click, hold shift and click on so-and-so and it opens it in the sidebar and gives you the full content of the page. It doesn't show the backlinks, but it shows everything else on the page and it's fully editable. I can edit that right here um, with whatever I want and that edits the so-and-so page. If I go and do it later, it has all that in there. So that's kind of neat if you have the sidebar, you can see it happen in real time in both places. Uh, so the sidebar can be great. Um, you can have multiple things open in the sidebar at once. So as I browse around in the main panel here, that one stays open. And I can shift click the daily notes and have them open here. It opens it on top. So if I scroll down, there's so-and-so's there and there's the daily notes here. Uh, a fairly new feature, you can actually drag and resize that now. So if you want to have more power with that here, you can do that. And sidebar is just a handy way to look at things side by side, maybe make some changes and just not have to be toggling back and forth between different things so much. So just shift click on any, any link you have in your own. It'll open the sidebar and you can uh, do with it what you want there. To close, you can just hit X in the right. Well, you can do it a few ways. One, you can collapse it there or hit X to start closing the items. And when they're all gone, it will disappear again.